Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy. Today I have my boxy charm with me for the month of April and I am really really excited to try the products that are in this and as you can see I have done a little bit with my hair. Um, I cut my hair the other day just like chopped off a little bit the uh, ones that had like highlights so like a little bit right here. I mean I kind of just wanted to play with it so um, I'm not sure how they're looking or anything but anyways um, let's get to the video so this is how this month's box looks like and they did give a really pretty pet flight which I am super happy about it says boxy charm festival vibes and it shows all the products and it tells you what you get in the boxy lux and everything and there's something on the back I don't really care about that and then we also have a coupon code for um, the makeup eraser you could have gotten that one I'm not sure if I did or not so it's for 20% off on the website of makeup eraser dot com first product that I'm pulling out is actually like three products so uh, we do have these three sheet masks which I wasn't really expecting um, I've gotten a few sheet masks in the past from boxy but uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get these so we do have a purifying one it says I am cactus then we have the illuminating one it says I am lotus and there's a calming one which is the hemp one so I will give these a try um, when I am doing my night skincare or maybe on the weekend. The next skincare product that we have is this Elemis Superfood Seesaw. I don't know if it's Seesaw or Seesaw. I have no idea. Calm um, Cleansing Foam. I am really excited to try this out because this was a choice product and I thought, you know, maybe I need a good foaming cleanser. So I chose this one. I'll give this a try at night when I'm taking my makeup off. The third product that we have is this iconic London Illuminator. I was so excited when I saw that this is one of the products that we're going to get in our box. It's in the, it's like original. I think there are a few um, shades or something that you could get. We will try this in the video today and I'm going to give you the prices as well of everything. So um, the Elemis Cleansing Foam is $32. The Tony Moly masks they are nine dollars so it's like three for each and then the iconic London illuminator is forty one dollars the next product that we have here is from benefit it's the pore professional pore minimizing primer and it's the original one you could have also gotten the hydrating one but because I have oily skin I think that's how they got it from the quiz and they sent me this one which I'm happy about so this retails for $32 as well we'll be trying this out as well and then the last product is this lavish five-piece neon eye brush collection and these retail for $29.99 so these are the brushes really colorful they have like a pencil brush and they have a tapered blending brush the next is eye shading brush then they have this brow groomer I really wanted to get a brush with the brush and the um, spoolie on the side like with the brush i do have one but that's like a small one so i was hoping to get like a bigger one but then i got this one so i'm happy about it and then there is fine liner brush it's just this really really tiny liner brush let's get to the video we will start by using the pore professional primer from benefit i have just my moisturizer on my face that's how it looks like and i'm gonna take this thingy off And we're gonna put it in the T zone. I'm gonna take a tiny bit first because I don't really know how much to use. So I'm gonna apply it right here in my nose. It it has a nice scent, like not crazy crazy, but with a nice scent. So I'm happy about it. Mm -hmm. 
I think I can definitely see some pore minimizing action going on but we'll know more once we apply foundation and everything uh, I will do that after I finish my brows as I like to so I am going to use this brush and this and then I'm gonna use my favorite elf brow cream and we shall see how it works also I did my brows at home and shaved my face at home too so if you guys want to watch a video like on doing brows at home or something let me know it's like really simple i don't do much Ooh, this is like a really nice brush it's not really stiff you know how some brushes can be it kind of just glides on That's not the perfect brow, but you know, didn't really take me that long. One thing is that it wasn't picking that much of a product. Um, not sure if it's thicker than what I'm used to using, but it got the job done. I will be back after I put my foundation, bronzer, blush, everything on, and then we will move on with this highlighter. Alright guys, so I am back with some foundation, lipstick, um, yeah, so now we are gonna try our Iconic London Illuminator. I have heard that it is really really intense, so we should be careful when applying it. I think I'm gonna just do a little dot, a couple, and then I'm gonna blend it with my finger first. Oh my god. Wow. Do you do you guys see that? That's only two dots and that's not drop nothing, just two dots. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose. Just a tiny bit. Wow. That is really an intense highlighter, but I really like it. Oh my god. That's so beautiful. Wow. Moving on. I am going to test out the brushes as well. We could only use one brush. So I am going to try to test out as many as I can in this video. So I'm going to be using my Celestial Thunder Downy Cosmetics Palette. And we are gonna use the pink brush, which is the tapered blending brush first. And I'm gonna apply this shade called Zero Gravity in my crease. I've never used this shade, wow. The bristles are really soft, to be honest. Like really, really soft. I'm just doing like a cool tone, smoky-ish eye because I don't want to play with colors right now. I like how it looks. Next, I'm gonna take this shade called Storm Dust, just a tiny, whiny bit, and I'm gonna put this along with that zero gravity shade just in my crease. Oops, this shade is really pigmented, so I'm gonna try blending it out. I'm gonna take the brush that is eye shading brush and I will be using the shade called black matter I was gonna go for this shade somehow I ended up choosing black matter we'll see 
I'm not gonna spray the brush with anything just because I want to see how much it picks up on itself so I took about that much and I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid all right that's how the eyes are looking not perfect I know but I like that subtle shimmer I think it looks nice now we are going to use the shade that I was gonna initially use this shade called eternal light and I'm gonna use the pencil brush to put this shade in my inner corner of my eye all right you guys I am back I popped some eyelashes on mascara and that's all actually I'm really um, liking the highlighter I think it's it's making my cheeks pop and of course my nose too um, and I think it's looking really beautiful subtle but still um, intense so I really enjoyed the highlighter the brushes worked really really nice for me really soft bristles except that the uh, eyebrow brush didn't pick much of the product and uh, after that the primer I think um, I'm actually gonna take a closer look for the primer um, I do see that my pores are minimized they're not showing up that much but I don't know if you guys can see but I think on my nose right here kind of looks a little bit weird I really hope that you guys are also staying at home you're not going out and if you guys are working out there I really really hope that you are staying safe um, keep your um, hands clean sanitize wash them as often as you can and you know you guys are still brave that you're working outside in this type of um, times but that was all for my today's video if you guys did enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video very soon bye